So striding in to start the ninth is Christian Lopes. And they could use a spark from him here. First offering. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next to hit is Andy Yerzy. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and the perfect game is erased in the ninth. So there'll be no visit to the record books here in this one as after eight and a third no hit innings, they finally get to him for their first hit of the ball game. Rats. Such a tough one as a pitcher, D row. 25 outs yeah, and then to that. give it up Wait, with on. one out in the ninth. I'll tell you what, from an offensive yeah. standpoint, you, you don't want to be on a team that gets no hit without question. You're going to do everything in your power to mix in and knock, and that's exactly what they. But tip your hat right there. The guy has thrown the heck out of the ball tonight. From the stretch, Stone Garrett is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. He rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jake McCarthy. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. From the stretch. Yerzy is off of first with two away. Behind 0 and 2 now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Stepping in once again is LT Tolbert. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb. But hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Two men are on with two men out. Hit out towards second. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. 
rock-solid win and a memorable performance. 4-0 the score tonight. Frisco took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Cleo McDonald earned his fifth win of the year as he allows only two hits over nine full innings. Edgar Arredondo was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. No errors, they left two men on base.